Hey everyone, this is Patricia. I have another layout to share that's using the same simple shape design stamps that I had used on my first layout earlier this month. And I thought I would do a different style and a totally different look with this layout. I'm going to use the Moon Rock Soft Lilac Peach Perfect Warm Sunshine Coral Berry and frayed leaf inks for this. I picked a more of a brighter palette than I did from the first layout that I created with these shapes. And I had mentioned before my first layout, there's so many possibilities and so many backgrounds that you could create with these stamps for a card or a layout. But in this case, what I wanted to do was create patterns in the different colors. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut those out and basically use them as pattern paper. So I'm gonna do a little bit of pattern play for my background of the layout. I have my eight and a half by 11 white cardstock on top of the mat with the grid and the ruler to help me try to get those stamps as straight as possible. And it still was tricky for me doing this freehand like this. But with this being for a layout, I, I usually don't worry about being too perfect with layouts as you would be maybe with cards. And I think, although I didn't want to get my head in the video, but I think if you get directly over it and can line it up while you're directly looking over it is a little bit better to get this straight. So I'm just going to continue. You can see I'm using the same colors. I'm using that same pattern over and over again for each row until I have a pattern big enough to do some cutting, just cutting the portions that I want. Now I want to move on to the, the smallest triangle, solid triangle shape that's in the stamp set. And for the pattern here, I decided to use more of the peachy colors from the stamp set I picked. I picked Coral Berry and Peach Perfect. So I'm going to stamp that here and again just get that large enough just to get the portion enough that I need to cut. And I want to pull in some other shapes that I did not use on my first layout. So I want to pull in this solid hexagon and I'm going to use the warm sunshine. And then as I, I was just randomly stamping, I wasn't sure which colors yet I was going to pick, but then I decided to add in two other colors to have three colors total. So I have the frayed leaf, and then I also went again with that coral berry just to add a little bit of pop of color. I didn't want this to just be green and yellow, even though it's the same ink colors from all of the patterns. I want a little, little bit extra um, color to this. And I'm doing the same thing that I did with the other patterns. I'm just making sure I have a big enough section to do some cutting later. And I really like the control that you can have over your color palette using the Alt New inks. It just, it gives the whole, even though you're using different shapes, it'll give the whole layout continuity throughout because of the color. One of my favorite colors that I just have been using a lot lately is gray. So I'm using this Moon Rock. I'm only using that color for the circles. And I just repeated that pattern. I had to turn off the camera so you didn't have to see my head, but I had to be directly over that to get those circles evenly spaced on top of each other. So now what I've done is I've cut these squares into two inch squares and I'm using a two inch photo. And the photo happened to be perfect. It was an old printed photo that I saw and the colors, the filter I had used, it's an old filter, just happened to really go well with the colors of the inks, especially the yellow and the kind of the green yellow. It really pulled in that color. So my photo is two inches, but I have a border around it. So as I placed those squares, I lined it up with the photo and not with the edge of the extra mat around the photo. So now what I did is I adhered everything in place and I did just a, a really rough straight stitch with my sewing machine all the way around this. And now I'm pulling in some embellishments and more stamps to go along with the theme. 
And I really love these UR stamps. They're very encouraging. And seeing the picture, this is an old picture of my daughter. She might have been about three or four, and she was really getting comfortable with swimming. So I picked um, a sentiment that says, we believe in you. And then what I did is I just trimmed that into a strip, and I'm going to adhere that to one of the squares at the top. So this is starting to build on the theme of this layout, and it's going to be all around her swimming. So I'm just going to keep building it. I love hashtags, so I, I um, adhered this acrylic hashtag with liquid glue. And this little smile embellishment it goes well with the colors and it also goes well with the theme. And then this little adhesive brad says summer, which is perfect with the swimming. And I want to add a bigger title that adds a little bit more uh, balance to the layout. I love those Modern Deco Alpha stamps, which I had used on my first layout. And again, I think they go perfectly with this because of the backgrounds that I created with the simple shapes. So what I did, you saw, saw earlier, I used a sheet of vellum and stamped out Keep Swimming so that I could place it at the top and the bottom and see where I liked it best. I liked it best close to where I had the other stamp sentiment. So now I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this on plain cardstock and then just trim this out. And for this layout with the Keep Swimming and the We Believe in You and the chipboard at the bottom and the smile, everything is, is related to the picture. So I don't really need any additional journaling. This was when she was really learning how to swim. So this pretty much says it all. And I've trimmed the Keep Swimming out and I'm going to line it up to line up with that sentiment below it. And I couldn't not finish this layout without using that origami fish. So uh, I stamped him with the green ink onto gray cardstock and die cut him out. And then I'm gonna pop dot him next to the keep swimming. And then the last few things that I added to this layout to create a little bit more balance was I added a sticker leaf that had a tropical feel next to the keep swimming because it went with the theme of the layout. And then I added these enamel dots looking like bubbles coming from the fish and bubbles coming from my daughter swimming. That completes this layout. Thank you so much for joining me.